With the latest firmware 3.8, we are very excited to present to you our MIDI waveform engines that will undoubtedly change what you think is possible with MIDI control. A MIDI waveform allows you to modulate different effect parameters, creating tonal effects such as vibrato, tremolo, sweeps, and phasing, similar to what an LFO does on a synthesizer. Before we show you what they can do, let's first explain what a MIDI waveform is. A MIDI waveform is essentially a continuous flowing stream of CC messages that oscillates between minimum and maximum CC values set by you. Think of it as an automated expression pedal, or if you hired someone to continuously rock your expression pedal back and forth with your desired sweep and speed. But that will get pretty expensive over time. The CC number you select will determine the effect parameter that is being modulated. You can modulate any effect parameter you want, as long as it can be controlled by CC messages. The extent to which the parameter is modulated is represented on the y-axis of our diagram. You can also define what the minimum and maximum CC values for each waveform will be. The x-axis represents time, which determines the speed and frequency of our waveform. Waveform engines can be synced to match your Morningstar controller's MIDI clock BPM. This way your waveforms will always stay on beat. We'll show you how to do that later. Choose from sine, triangle, sawtooth up, sawtooth down, and square wave shapes. Each of these will produce different tonal characteristics, so choose the one that best suits the sound that you are going for. In total, you get 4 MIDI waveform engines in your Morningstar MIDI controller. You can have them running all at once or just selected ones. Now that we have an understanding of MIDI waveforms, let's take a look at some real-world applications with these pedals and how they can be used to manipulate your tone in useful and unique ways. In that example, I used a sawtooth up waveform to modulate the reverb mix on the Big Sky's cloud algorithm. I also had it synced to MIDI clock, so the reverb would rise and fall in sync with our BPM. We'll show you how to set this up right now. The first thing you need to do is access the waveform engines under the controller settings tab in your editor. Here you will see four independent waveform engines. For each of these engines, you can select a different wave shape and define different minimum and maximum CC values. For the side chained Big Sky reverb, I used Engine 1 and chose a sawtooth up wave shape. This wave shape emulates the sidechain effect the best. It's as if we have our kick drum sidechain to a track, making its levels drop every time the kick hits. That's the kind of effect we want to achieve here. I set a minimum CC value of 30 and maximum value of 127. That way my tone would go from a moderate mix all the way up to full wet and then back down again, creating the sidechain effect you heard in the demo earlier. You can use any switch you want on your MIDI controller to trigger this waveform engine to start. In this case, I'm using switch A in bank 3, so let's program that. Select a press action and then select CC waveform generator. You can decide if you want to start or stop a waveform engine. In this case, we want it to start. Then choose which waveform engine you want to engage. In this case, that's engine 1 that we have set up earlier. And we are going to select perpetual because we want the waveform to keep repeating. Then decide if you want to sync it to MIDI clock or have it run independently. In this case, we want to sync it to MIDI clock, so let's select that. Select the quarter note division, so we get one cycle per beat. You can also experiment and play around with the different divisions. And for our CC number, we are going to choose 15 because that's the CC number that controls the mix level on the big sky. Now, we also need a second message to generate MIDI clock for the waveform to sync itself to. Without that, the waveform will not start because there is no MIDI clock data to set its speed. So let's also choose a press action for our second message and select MIDI clock tap. Hit save and that's it. Tapping 4 times or more on switch A will now start waveform engine 1, and it will run in sync with the rate at which you tap. To resync your waveform to the beat any time throughout a song, just tap at least 4 times to match your band's tempo. Now let's see how we can create a pitch shift whammy effect on the HX stomp using a MIDI waveform. <laughs> In this example, we used a sawtooth up wave to shift the guitar's tone up by plus 12 semitones, a full octave. 
To make the pitch shift go from 0 to plus 12 semitones, use a minimum CC value of 64 and maximum value of 96. 64 is the neutral position, meaning there is no pitch shift, and 96 will take us up 12 semitones. The big difference when programming a switch in this example is that we need to select once only instead of perpetual. With this option selected, the waveform will run for only one cycle and end at the maximum CC value, holding the note at the peak of our pitch shift. CC number 30 was used to control the pitch shift parameter. You can use any CC number you want, as the HX Storm makes it user definable. If you are not sure how to do that yet, watch this video about using MIDI on the HX Storm. And we also don't want to sync this to MIDI clock because we want our pitch to ramp up the moment we hit the switch. And to get our pitch to ramp up quick enough, let's choose a wave speed of 127 cycles per minute with a 4 times speed multiplier. Lastly, we added two more messages that would be triggered upon release of the switch. The first is a message to stop the waveform engine. The second is a CC message with value 64 to bring our pitch shift back to neutral. That way when we press the switch, our note will ramp up 12 semitones and when we release the switch, we will be back in normal tuning. And that's how you use the MIDI CC waveforms on your Morningstar MIDI controllers. Have a blast and get creative and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.